Alan Lazard, wide receiver, 43, 40 receptions, 60 targets, 513 yards, eight, eight touchdowns, 10.54% of the target share. Thoughts on Alan Lazard? I think all those numbers get doubled this year. Like, I, I think this is the guy that I believe is Aaron Rodgers' go to. So I think that's probably 80 receptions. We're not going to see 120 or anything like what Devontae Adams did, but 80 receptions on 100. 10 targets, 120 targets, something like that. And somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, 12 to 15 touchdowns. Like he has to be the one to step up. And right now he is at such a discount in redraft leagues that he is an absolute must have. If you are drafting today, as far as getting a wide receiver that late in the draft with a ceiling of top 10 potential, just because of who his quarterback is. So, um, you know, he is my sleeper of the season based off of where he's being drafted at. Um, and I, you know, am crossing my fingers that it pays off because I have a ton of shares of him this year. Yeah, I mean, Alan Lazard coming off the board, wide receiver 47, 113th overall. So he's that 10th round guy. And you know, I mentioned it a little bit ago when we were talking about Russell Gage that you know, I don't see Russell Gage being the Michael Pittman type of wide receiver that you can get in the 10th round and, and see what happens there. Uh, Alan Lazard very well could be. And it's, it was funny. You're reading off kind of where you're seeing him go through and, and all of that. And um, yeah, I've done some of my early projections on this one. I saw I've, I've Alan Lazard uh, charted out at 78 receptions, 113 targets for 1,017 yards. I'm not as bullish as you are with the touchdowns. I've got him in that seven to eight kind of touchdown range there. But I think he will absolutely return value for you. And I think that, you know, drafting Alan Lazard in the 10th round, just kind of a smart move for fantasy there. 